Okay, so I keep getting foobar challenge every time I search for blocking queue. So we're gonna be trying this now. Let's go. Welcome everyone to the foobar challenge that I got. I wasn't originally planning to do it because uh, I don't think Google still hires from it and I already have a Google offer so what will I get but anyhow I realized I can make a video out of it so here we are okay so when I did LS I have a journal and a start here so if I cat journal so yeah it's just that and let's cat start here okay so type request Time limited challenge. Oh, seven days. All right, let's go. We have 168 hours to solve it. So what do we have? I love Lance Janice and uh, oh, CD, the directory. Cat read me dot text. Okay, so what do we have here? In this problem, we were given a string where every character from A to Z has been replaced f with Z to A. So if it is B, it will be Y. If it is A, it would be Z and so on. So we just had to fix that and return the string. Since we were only allowed Java or Python, I tried Java, suffered a bit because I tried to use an online editor since I did not have it set up in my VS code. and after a lot of debugging and using my online editor discord that I created, I was able to get a solution. Verify again. I'm going to have a lot of pain trying to code in Java. All right. Submit solution.java. Are you sure? Yes. So, yeah, that was the first question. I'll do the rest later. All right, so welcome back guys. We are at level two now. So I have restarted my foobar challenge. I mean, I'm continuing my foobar challenge. So I have this new problem and I've set up my Java environment because I don't want to do it online again. So let's cat ion, ref whatever dude. So what do we have here? Cat read me. Okay, so oh no. Commander lambda switch. So in this problem, we were given a perfect binary tree and the nodes were numbered in post order. Now we were given a few numbers, a list of numbers, and we have to tell what is the direct ancestor of that number node. Now the challenge with this was that the height of tree is uh, 30 and uh, we cannot hence construct a tree and we have to figure out some mathematical formula to find that out. So I uh, tried to figure that out and using symmetry, some math, I was able to figure out a solution and uh, coded a order of height solution. So that is O of H that is at maximum 30. Paste. All test cases passed. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll get to this phone in just a second. Now let's submit solution.java. You sure? Yes. The mission was successful. All right, welcome back guys to the FUBAR challenge. Let's uh, look at what progress we had. So status, we had done level two half of it. So let's request the challenge. Request. In this challenge, we were given a bunch of digits from zero to nine. They can be repeated and what we had to do is delete some of them, maybe zero, and then reorder them in such a way that we get maximum number divisible by three. So we could not do something like brute force is what I thought initially because uh, I read the constraints wrong. There was actually no constraint given on the number of digits. But uh, when I, so I solved it for a rather difficult case where the digit number of digits could be order of one e5 so the way i solved it is i grouped the digits into three 
groups 1 divisible by 3 1 that gives remainder 1 when divided by 3 and the other that gives remainder 2 when divided by 3 now we can always take the digits that are divided by 3 and uh, for the groups that are divided by 3 with modulo 1 and modulo 2 if we group three numbers in that same group we will always get a number divisible by 3 so we can remove the digits in such a way and so the maximum number of digits in those groups could be 2 and then we can group uh, the remaining ones in modulo 1 and modulo 2 with each other so in that way we will either have only one digit remaining from either modulo 1 or modulo 2 or two digits remaining from either modulo 1 or modulo 2 and so all we have to do is take this one or two smallest from that group so i implemented that in java and when implementing i realized that we have to return an integer and that would mean that actually the number of digits are about 30 or 31 i mean about 8 or 9 because that is the limit of integer in java and so wasted a lot of time but i implemented a pretty good solution at this point i got a referral link which i could give to one person and i gave it away on my twitter so follow me for more such things yes that was a seamless plug also please leave a like and subscribe i want better numbers on my social media <coughs> all right so welcome back we are here let's request a challenge oh doomsday So in this challenge we were given a bunch of states and also what is the probability of going from one state to other states so we can go from let's say one state one to state three and four with probability let's say 70 and 30 percent and uh, so we were given a state graph like this with at maximum 10 states what we had to do is find out the probability of landing at any of the terminating state in uh, fraction form. Now for this I tried to figure out like how to deal with loops and all that. I got a lot of formulas related to geometric progression and then using them I did try to reach some solution but it was getting pretty complicated and at this point I thought maybe I should give up because I was getting a feeling that it is hinting for some random specific algorithm that I'll have to Google search and then read about like a code shift long challenge and I wasn't interested in doing that because I did not have much time and also my friend told me that actually all FUBAR problems are more or less available on the internet that also reduced my motivation to try and so I gave up after that I did search the solution and I was right it required something like absorbing Markovnikov chains so that wasn't gonna be any fun to do anyways and at this point yeah I quit but hope you guys got an idea of what this challenge is like if you're wondering how I got this challenge it was actually pretty simple just be good at google searching <laughs>